guys, it has finally happened. Season 2 has finally been drowned under a torrent of water and Fortnite Season 3 has actually begun. After the longest season in Fortnite history, Season 3 is seriously shaking things up. Keith is off grinding the new season today, so you're stuck with me, Matt. And in today's Fortnite update video, I'll be going over everything from the flooded map changes to what's in the battle pass to all the new weapons and items in the game. And of course, everything that's been leaked from the files. But before we get into any of that, it's a new season. And if you want to dominate right off the bat, then there's only one thing that you should do. And that's check out the Pro Guides website. With one-on-one -on -one training from pros and a bunch of guides written by the best players, the Pro Guides site is your one-stop shop to get better at Fortnite. So, what are you waiting for? Go and check it out. Now obviously the map has been almost completely flooded, with the only area not impacted by the flood being on the southeast side of the map. The flood water damage everywhere else is extensive, with vast areas of the map that used to be above water now completely covered by water. From Pleasant Park to Sweaty Sands and even Steamy Stacks, you'll be hard pressed to find an area that isn't a little soggy in this new season map. There have also been a few additions to the map in terms of new points of interest. Catty Corner can be found near the mountains in the southeast. A new ocean location called the Fortilla has been added to the southwest, just past the newly named Rickety Rig. The yacht is still around, only now it's on the far north side of the map and has been utterly wrecked by the flood. The agency is still around as well, sort of. Only now it's been rebuilt as a waterproof fortress and has become the authority. Oh, and as you've probably noticed, the spawn island looks a little wetter now too. Swimming around all of the watery areas in the new Fortnite map might look like a drag at first, but there are actually whirlpools in certain locations that you can use to propel yourself up into the air, which then allows you to redeploy your glider to get out of the water much more quickly. Which you're gonna want to do if you want to avoid the hungry man-eating sharks that have started attacking people. While they're not in the game just yet, Epic has revealed that as the water recedes around the Fortnite island over the course of the season, some other new vehicles will be added to the game, ranging from a gigantic truck to some pretty cool looking sports cars. Though for now you can still ride helicopters, boats, and hook yourself onto the sharks. As with every Fortnite update, the list of available weapons in the game has shifted slightly. Some weapons have been taken out of the rotation and shoved into the vault, while other weapons which were in the vault already have come out once again to see the light of day once more. And some completely new items have been added too. The main new weapon that has been added in this patch is the Charge Shotgun, a new shotgun weapon that goes from common right up to a mythic shotgun that you can gain by defeating Kit. Unlike other shotguns, you actually need to charge your shot up to deal the maximum amount of damage with this weapon. From fighting Kit, you can also get a mythic grenade launcher which fires impulse grenades. Unfortunately for fans of the pump shotgun, the new charge shotgun seems to have taken its place. If you want to get your hands on the new mythic burst rifle, you'll need to take down Ocean at the Fortilla. Meanwhile, the mythic grappler and drum gun are still at the authority, only now the drum gun is a little weaker and the grappler has more range and allows you to redeploy your glider. As for unvaulted weapons, you'll be able to play with the hunting rifle, bolt action sniper rifle, which has replaced the heavy sniper rifle, and P90 again. And you'll be able to heal yourself with the chug jug and chug splashes. The chug jug does seem to have had a bit of a rework though because there's now a mythic version from Ocean that claims it comes with free refills. You can get that for beating Ocean at the Fortilla. Oh, and uh, stink grenades are back too. As always with every new season, there have been some new additions in the form of a brand new battle pass. We won't go over all the skins and additions in this video, but it's pretty cool to see some of the leaked items like the Eternal Knight and Aquaman finally in the game. Of course, you can't actually use the Aquaman skin yet. You have to unlock him over the course of the next month when new challenges get released. You'll also be able to edit your own umbrella, which is something we've never seen in Fortnite before and is honestly a really cool addition, especially considering how many variant pieces there are. When it comes to leaks, the most important thing we need to talk about at the moment is the apparent aim assist nerfs that seem to have taken place in this new season. According to the data miner Lucas7Yoshi, there has been another round of PC-only nerfs to aim assist, with the pull strength being reduced by around 30%. It's uncertain how effective this will end up being in reducing how strong aim assist is in-game, but it's also nice to see that Epic is sticking to their word and continuing to change the aim assist values as time progresses. The data miners have also discovered how the map is going to change over the course of the season. Epic have stated that the water will recede over the course of the season, and the leakers have discovered exactly how that's going to happen. Over the season, the map will change and reveal brand new areas that are currently hidden underwater over the course of seven drainage cycles. By the end, the Fortnite map will look almost the same as it did before the flood. 
though there will probably be some fairly big changes under the waves. The leak stated that there would be something to do with fireflies and fire damage in the new season, and if the files are anything to go by, we will soon be seeing a new Molotov cocktail style weapon added to the game. This will be in the form of a jar of fireflies. At the moment, it's uncertain how these fireflies will actually work or when they will be added into the rotation of items that you can use, but it's likely that they're going to do something crazy like burning down builds. Who knows how that's going to mess with the Fortnite meta. As usual, a bunch of new skins and cosmetics have also been found in the files of the game. The new leaked bat blings are the Anchor, the Double Fang, the Swampy Sack, the Warning Bow, the Night Bag, the Ghost Stripe, the Ghost Hardcase, and the Ghost Ooze Unit. The new leaked skins include the Trench Trawler, the Swamp Stomper, the Ghost Beach Brawler and Shadow Beach Brawler, the Metal Team Leader, the Night Gunner, the Wave Breaker, the Scarlet Serpent, Ghost Hush, Ghost Wildcard and the Ghost Chaos Agent, as well as a bunch of placeholders that seem to indicate the Marauders will eventually be skins too. The new gliders are the Sky Sail, the Dumpster Flyer, and the Stratosphere. Of course, there are some pickaxes, the Wave Crest, the Heavy Hook, the Swamp Slicer, and the Fearless Fangs. Some new gun wraps have also been leaked, the Sharky Wrap, the Swamp Scale, the SOS, and the Black Violet. There have also been some new leaked emotes, the Waddle Away Dance, the Ribbon Dancer, Flippin' Away, and also Paddle Royale. A couple of skins that are still completely encrypted have also been found. A new skin that seems to be based on a mushroom, and the new Renegade Raider skin which was shown in the trailer. That's going to be called Blaze when it comes out. Thanks for watching our Season 3 update video. If you enjoyed it, why not click the like button? I'll be back next Sunday covering all the Fortnite news from the week. Remember to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified of all our future Pro Guides videos.